This report, The State of Nature, is a very important report. It's the first time we've been able to have a comprehensive look at the state of wildlife across Britain. And one of the great things about it is that 25 different organisations, including the BTO, have worked together to produce it. The report is the most comprehensive knowledge we have to date of the status and trends of much of the UK's wildlife. We'd like to be able to report on every species, but as yet we don't have the data for that. And this report is based on those 5% of species right across all sorts of wildlife in the UK, from ants and bees and wasps up to birds and mammals, where we do have high quality data that can tell us what's happening to wildlife in the British Isles. The report includes a brand new watch list indicator and at present this is based only on the records of birds, butterflies and moths and the BTO is committed to work with other organisations to ensure that we raise the quality of the data for those other species groups to the level of the data we have on birds for which of course the BTO has an international reputation. The BTO is really proud to be part of this collaboration of 25 organisations that have made this report possible. It's a real showcase for our high quality data on birds that comes from the monitoring and survey schemes that the BTO run and coordinate on behalf of a range of other organisations. And one of the great things about this report is that much of the data right across all sorts of species of wildlife has been collected by skilled volunteers in their own time and this data provides evidence of population status and change of wildlife across Britain. The report is going to be launched in London tonight at a very high profile event and we will be pleased to be part of that launch when the evidence and data within the report are made available to government and decision makers to enable what our volunteers do in collecting data about wildlife to work hard for nature conservation in the future.